Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a really on-trend, scary, creepy, Halloween-y sort of arrangement. So for this we've got a really nice jet black container which is as dark as my heart. We've got some strelitzia leaves that are dried and painted orange and black. I've got some Anastasia blooms, some red gerbera. We've got these wonderful um, agapantha seed heads which look like spiders on sticks. We've got some rosehip berries, uh, some Chinese lanterns, and I've also got some beautiful orange roses as well. So, to get started then, we're going to use the, the black strelitzias first. So this will just give us our height. So we're thinking about our containers this height, we want to go about two, so you get two thirds to one third. And this is just going to bring a line of colour right up through this arrangement. So when you're working with these, you need to look and see what shapes you've actually got. So I'm loving the fact that we can come out and create more three dimension rather than just going up. So these are good fun. And the great thing about the, these strillet seal leaves is you can use them again and again. So we've got a couple of little fat seals that I want to just put at the base. Now this is going to help just hide the edge of that pot. And that also gives a little bit of visual weight down the bottom. Now, because these are quite important, I don't want to put them in too late, so it's better getting them in nice and early. And we can split this down as well. So we can take it into two pieces and get a little bit more use out of that. A lot of people don't like the leaves, so if you don't want them to wilt, you can take them off. Straight away we've got a lot of interest here because people might not know what these are. Now our roses are really a main flower, so we'll put these in as well. We've got quite a lot of foliage, so I'm just going to clean some of that off. And I'm just going to use the roses really to create a line that comes down through the arrangement. So we've brought our eye down through the actual arrangement and now we can use our other flowers just to fill in and give more body to the, the design. So I really like these blooms, the Anastasia blooms, because they're such a strong lime green that works really well with the, the orange. And again, we don't have to have them all at the front. If you put something further back, then you're going to get more depth. And I also have these beautiful rose hips. So these are just coming into season now with us. They can be a bit thorny, so just be careful. But they are beautiful. And these will last. I mean, this kind of design actually is going to be something that will last quite well. So what we're doing is we're creating a range of textures and interests. Like, you might not have seen these, you might not have seen these. So, just to help fill in, I've got a little bit of Hypericum. So I don't want this arrangement to be too formal. I want it to look a little bit wild. And this is a really nice Hypericum in the sense that it's got quite a bit of body to it, so just by placing two pieces there, we've filled in either side. So, just a few gerbera. And 
and the gerber is really just going to bring again another element to it by adding a little bit of wheat into the arrangement. Because these are bigger, heavier flowers, then they take your eye visually into the centre of the arrangement. These, are, these elements allow your eye to travel around. So what I'm doing now is just, I'm just going to add the kind of finishing touches. So we wanted our spiders. You know, we don't have to fill it with spiders. I mean, generally one spider is enough, but I think a couple would be pretty good. And also I've got some little chilies, little chili peppers. And we can just add a few of these in again just to create a little bit more interest. And there you go, there's your creepy seasonal Halloween arrangement. So, using lots of different materials, really interesting, something to greet people when they come to your home. I hope you really enjoy this Halloween season and give it a go and maybe you can impress yourself with what you can achieve. If you've enjoyed watching our video then please subscribe and keep up to date with all our designs. Thank you for watching.